All right, welcome everybody. We're going to do a really quick video today here, and we're going to talk about something that is extremely easy to forget. Okay, we're going to talk about rational exponents, and this is something that Algebra 2 students always forget, always struggle with, and even when they remember them, it's just the combination of two things that Algebra 2 students don't really like, and so I don't blame them for not liking it, but it is super easy, and you only need one little tiny thing to remember, and so no reason to not remember it, okay? Here's what it is. You see something like this, an X, which we see all the time, and we're not worried about this, but then we see something like this, okay? And so what we have here, first of all, is we have to know what we're looking at. We've got a, a variable, and then this is an exponent, but the exponent is a fraction, okay? And so rational exponents basically just means fraction exponents. Now, fraction exponents, they're weird. They look funky. Sometimes the way that they're typed in a computer can be kind of hard to, to read. But in general, they just are fractions which students tend to not like and exponents. And they just tend to be things that make students freeze up. OK, but here's the good news. It's really easy to do. The bottom number is your root. OK. So whatever number's on the bottom here is whatever type of root that you have. So this is x to the two-thirds, and this 3 means that we have the cube root of x. So that's a piece of cake. The top is the power or the exponent, however you want to think about it. And so this is x to the power of 2, or x squared. And so, put the 2 there. And that's it. That's the entire thing of rational exponents. Like, that. that's it. That's the whole thing. If you remember that the bottom number is the root and the top number is the power, you're done. Now, the reason, the questions that you see on a test is it'll ask you this, right? What is 16 to the 1 half power? And I'm telling you, for some reason, this is a question that so many students will miss, okay? And it's not because I don't do my best to teach them. It's x to the one, or 16 to the 1 half power. And if you're doing these notes, you realize that's really easy, right? That's bottom number is the root. So that's square root. Let me get the same color here. Square root 16, which could not be an easier question. The square root of 16 is 4. And so 16 to the 1 half power, let me go back a bit just to make this clear. 16 to the 1 half power is the square root of 16, which is 4. That's it. That's as complicated as the whole thing goes, right? A lot of times you'll see something like this. You know, what is 32x cubed? cubed y to the one-third power, in parentheses like this. And you need to see this one-third, and you need to not panic and just say, okay, the three on the bottom is the root. And say that this needs to be the cube root of, well, I forgot the two, 32x cubed y. Okay. Now, from here, it's not as easy as this one, but it's still pretty straightforward. You need to do 32, which is, you know, 8 times 4, which is 4 times 2. This one over here is 2 times 2. Don't forget this 4, which is 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. We've also got 1, 2, 3 x's. Got 1 y. We need to remember that we're circling three at a time. So we need all three of these twos, left over two, left over two. We need all three of these x's, left over y. So now sorting this out, what comes out front? Two comes out front, circled x comes out front. So we should have, let me make
make a little bit more room running out here. But our answer would be 2 on the outside, x on the outside, cube root, left over 2, left over 2, always multiply them. That's a 4, and then a y, that's a y. This would be the answer, right? 2 comes out, 4 left over, 1x comes out, 1y left over. That's what you got. Now notice how there's only like two seconds of this question where we have to handle this rational exponent. So it's a really short process. It's a really simple concept. Whatever number's on the bottom, that's the root, and then you're done. What I would recommend is if you're doing this question and you have this one-third power, change it into the cube root and then just cross this out. And never think of this again because as soon as you see the one-third, you're more likely to, to get nervous. But if you see this, it feels super easy. Anyways, that's the whole thing. That's Rational Exponent. That's a really quick walkthrough, but hope this helps.